Yes, I'm from SimonWoods.com. I have another pair of wines from Casa de Pacos. Or is it Quinta de Pacos? So I look on the cork and it says Quinta de Pacos. And I look on the front label of the both of these two and it says Casa de Pacos. Hey, hey, it's the same place. Um, and one of them is labelled Vino Verde because uh, it is labelled made from Lurero and Arinto, and the other is just labelled uh, Vino Regional Minho, and I don't know whether that's because Fernio Pires is not a permitted grape variety for Vino Verde, um, so um, well, you know, there'll be somewhere on either on the annotations or on the below the stuff on my website where you'll be able to uh, find out the full details of why and what and when and who and all those all that lot. Anyway, uh, so the first one I'm going is the Fernel Pires. Both of them are 2016. Both of them weighing in at 12 and a half alcohol. Well, it's got a light spritz to it. Um, and um, it smells almost slightly gingery. Um, as if there is, uh, I don't know, I think it said on the back that they've done a little bit of skin contact. Yeah, partial skin contact. Um, sometimes when you do skin contact with slightly aromatic grapes, you pick up some of these uh, gingery, gingery notes. And uh, there's that. There's also a little bit of grapey, slightly quince-like uh, character in there too. Not exactly off dry, but with that, um, well, I don't know whether there's a little bit of touch of sugar there, whether it's the softness of the grape or whether it's that slightly uh, gingery note that, uh, that that I was smelling. Uh, it smells, uh, there's a little bit of touch of peach there, Pe gingery peach, and um, maybe a little bit of ripe, ripe cooked apple in there. Not tart apples, but uh, cooked dessert apples. Um, uh, it's got quite a bit of mouthfeel to it, um, and uh, I'd almost prefer a little bit of, of um, a bit more Christmas on the finish, but I can imagine that being rather nice with ever so slightly spicy food. Um, so let's see what the second one's like. Maybe I should have done that one, uh, this, that one second. Uh, first one is a 2016 uh, Lurero and Arinto. Give this one a whirl. This one smells a bit more neutral. Uh, it smells good, like it's going to be cleaner and fresher. There's a touch of uh, apple and vague citrus, but not quite not as pungent as the as the Fernel Pires one was. Then when you come to taste it, it does have flavour. It was slightly anodyne on the nose, but when you when you come to uh, in the mouth, there are there are some of these uh, slightly cooked apple. I guess I was talking about a little bit of quince on the previous one, and uh, there's a, a similar character here but uh, a little bit more Christmas, slight, almost uh, pine-like, ever so slight resin edge uh, in an attractive way, nothing too harsh and bitter or anything. And uh, yes, it, it's got that extra edge of Christmas, but both of these, uh, what I like about them is 12.5% uh, alcohol. Uh, they're not wimpy in flavour. They, uh, they, they manage to have quite a, a depth of flavour um, without having to uh, resort to uh, to higher alcohol levels. Which do I prefer? Probably just about uh, the, uh, the the blend, the Lurero Arinto. But I imagine that there are some occasions when I would prefer to drink the uh, uh, prefer to drink the Ferno Pires. But both of them do a very good advert for uh, white wines of Northern Portugal. So I could uh, I'll give them the both a thumbs up. <laughs> See you soon.